Here's the next installment on fishing worms' is DIY fish hatchery. Got a lot of knickknack stuff done since the last video. Uh, lights hung, shelves up for all the junk. Got uh, duckweed growing in this upper tank up here. Gonna try using it for some to supplement the fish food here one of these days once we get enough of it growing. Uh, we'll probably let it go a little bit longer and then transplant some on the rest of those upper tanks next to that. Uh, got all the lids cut in on the uh, 275 gallon tanks. Got some uh, couple hundred cheapy feeder goldfish in there to uh, kind of kickstart the system here a little bit. Got a couple rows of lettuce growing there in the background, up on top of the the back of the 275-gallon tanks. Just uh, took four-inch PVC and drilled three three and a quarter-inch holes, just the right size to put uh, pots down into. Got the water supply coming off the supply for the tanks running around here and just supplying right into the end of the 4 inch PVC. Row lights hung on a 2 before going down through there suspended by a rope so we can raise the lights up and down. I don't know if you can see down inside here or not. See the water water level stays about halfway up or right at halfway up in the PVC. And the coconut core just wicks, wicks up the water out of the pipe. Returns the water uh, down at the other end of the pipe. Just flows out and returns into the tank down there. Uh, about the only other Thing new is uh, our. Uh, you might be able to see her right there. That's our newest mama right there. Yesterday afternoon, she just spit out. Oh, I'd say between three and four hundred fry. I don't know if you can see them. There's a pretty good swarm of them in there. Another month or so, and they'll show up pretty good in that 30-gallon tank. But there's there's quite a swarm of them in there. So other than that, I'll build a rack over top of the 275-gallon uh, totes. Uh, when I bought <laughs> when I bought all these. 30 gallon tanks, I got a deal on them, I bought 20 of them for, I don't know, 12 or 15 dollars a piece, so I got, these are the last six that I have right up here, I don't have them plumbed in or, or filled up yet, but uh, we'll have plenty of room for fry and we might even try growing some other stuff up there, I don't know, uh, we'll just have to see what, what happens.
all the hydroponic stuff that's well everything in here is new to us so this whole room is just basically a big experiment at this point so see you next time